I want to start by congratulating my party and friend. <laughs> Festus Keamo mm. and our relationship actually dates some years back, not recent. I just want to start by saluting your intellectual sagacity. And from your CV, you've practiced law in and out. And these practices have been so recognized by awarding you the highest title any lawyer can end in this country, the senior advocate of Nigeria. And you have been a prosecutor with the EFCC for so many years. So I want to quote section 174 of the Constitution and then ask my question in that regard. Section 150 talks about who is qualified to be the Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice. Section 174, with the permission of the Chair, I read. 174 says, the Attorney General of the Federation shall have powers to any person, to bring any person, sorry, before the Court of Law in Nigeria, or other than a court martial in respect of, of offenses created by or under the Act of this National Assembly, to take over and continue any such criminal proceedings that may have been instituted by any other authority persons or persons, and to discontinue at any stage before judgment is delivered by any such criminal proceeding instituted undertaken by him or any other person. That is what we call the power of nolly prosecute. But that power, Mr. President or Mr. Chairman, and my respected colleagues can only be exercised conditionally. So the Constitution in two gave those conditions that must be met before those powers can be exercised. And it really does. The power conferred upon the Attorney General of the Federation under subsection one of this section may be exercised by him in person or through officers of his department. In exercising his powers under this section, the Attorney General of the Federation shall have regard to three things. One, public interest. Two, the interest of justice. And three, the need to abuse, sorry, the need to prevent abuse of legal process. I want to ask you, as a qualified lawyer, and a man who is even qualified for the office of the Attorney General of the Federation, but I'll venture the President send you to the Ministry of Justice with all your area of experiences. Do you think in the last four years, the powers of the Attorney General to grant nolly prosecute have met these three conditions? One, that of public interest. Two, the interest of justice. And three, the need to prevent abuse of legal process. Litany of nolly prosecutors have been granted, but I want to ask you, using your celestial mind as an activist, to respond to this question. And secondly, I just want to say that as a versatile minister, I know you to be intellectually mobile. You recite the second stanza of the national anthem. Thank you. This uh, the thing we that you know that is not a question. Mr. Chairman, screening, screening as 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 described is to screen a candidate. And excuse me, excuse me. No, it's okay. That that is not that is not a question. You have asked, you have asked very very direct questions, so you can disregard the the later part. You can respond to the questions, please. Senator Tima Adriana is correct to the point that these conditions are put there. But do you, the Supreme Court has ruled in several cases that you cannot question the discretion of the Attorney General. So the Attorney General says, I have looked at it, and those three conditions have been met. The Supreme Court says, well, it is his discretion. They will not even question that discretion. It is wrong. It's wrong. 
So our concern is replete with mistakes, antiquarian provisions that we must amend.